So all those factors come into play. Now, um, in terms of her nostril, normally my, I will uh, clean that out physically. I'll barb a 23 gauge needle and I'll put the barb inwards uh, on, the, on, the, on the blade of the needle, hypodermic needle, and then I'll use that as a microsurgical curette and very gently clean out a lot of that black debris in there and that should be checked under the microscope to make sure it's what just snotty discharge in lovebirds when we see black nostrils like that lovebird ones are very often full of mites um, packed with little dark almost black mites similar to the air sac mite um, so um, I don't want to assume I'd like to check um, I think she should be on a course of um, doxycycline for 45 days, at least 30 days, preferably 45 days. That can be given by the drinking water if we deprive her diet of greens and shell grit and cuddle bone and other things and try and get her over onto a pelleted diet if possible, at least partly pellet. Um, I notice that her feet um, the colour of her toes and so forth is a little bit cyanotic. She's not getting as much oxygen as she needs, so she's a very high anaesthetic risk at the present stage. So that's the, the, the process that we find ourselves in. The air sacs are involved because the, of this bulging here and the thing. We can say that the air sacs are involved immediately. The lungs will be involved. And um, um, ideally, Yes, we should be testing for chlamydia. If you want to do the standard chlamydia test, that's about $85. Um, and chlamydia is a disease that is potentially contagious to us if our immune system is uh, not doing its job, um, if the, our hygiene is poor, if we're creating aerosols when we clean out the cage, or if we're creating dust storms when we clean out the cage, or if we're letting a sneeze under our nose, uh, or anything like that, then we increase the risk of disease. But right at the moment, um, um, that's one, one thing. In terms of the suspected underlying beak and feather disease, at the present stage, we do not have a cure for that. We don't have uh, effective treatment for that. We do have um, things that we can do outside the, the area of pharmaceuticals, petrochemicals, which cannot be called treatment for legal reasons, but there are things that we can do to support health and well-being and to improve quality of life. And um, they range from nutritional supplements, they range from detoxing, uh, taking out accumulated poisons and so forth out of her, out of her body, um, perhaps even taking out some of the virus out of her body, but not with drugs. And uh, we'll discuss that further. Quantum, quantum evaluation and adjustments is the area that I'm most attracted to. However, right at the present stage, um, I and without an operator for my instrument, so we need to uh, look a field for that. And then um, for her bumble foot, she needs a course of um, antibiotics again, or the doxycycline. We'll see what happens with the doxycycline if we go down that pathway. Um, and she'll need some topical paint, a mixture of, I normally make up a mixture of what I call stinky paint and probably some bee relieved and we'll get the feet as, um, as healed as we can and then there'll probably be a need to curette out the core of the abscess. But again, I'd like to handle this birdie in steps, not in one hit. But we'll start a lot of things today if it, uh, that's what we work out we're going to do. Um, so. We're waiting on a poop from you. We would like a nice warm poop, my dear little friend. Hey? You want a bit of... No, I want it on, on the table. Oh, okay. I, not soaked in. So, there you are, baby. Hey, how about you do one there? Do you know how old she is? 
No, my daughter was given, it was given to my daughter oh, about um, 18 months ago. The people were going overseas. Mm -hmm. um, I would, I look at her and I think she's probably four, five. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, those feet were like that when I think it was given to my daughter. Yep, yep. Um, since we've had her, she's had all sorts of different perches like uh, wild bush. Wood, um, right. Uh, all the bush perches and yes. and some oval ones and some round egg shaped ones and right. some round ones. Um, she has a large cage. Yes. She gets to the top of the cage and she climbs up and down but she can't fly. Yes. I presume that's because of the lump under her, in her abdomen. She drops to the ground. Right. Yes. Of the uh, cage. Yes. Yep. And of course that's where I'd say the, the problem with the 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 legs come in. Yes. Um, right. The bumble foot may be that she loses a bit of traction on the perch or the, 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 the whatever. But uh, normally she, she's eating well, she eats yep. well, and she right. drinks she drinks a lot of water. I mean, right. there might be something in that, but uh, I think right. cockatiels like water. A cage gets cleaned out twice a week and right. paper gets in the bottom of a cage and she eats a lot of shell grit. Right, okay. She seems to extremely like the shell grit. Right. So okay. um, right. you were okay. saying we probably have to take that off, or uh, plus the cuttlefish. Well, it depends on which way we oh. treat her. The the, uh, the the better way of treating her, rather than in the drinking water, is by injection once a week. Mm. However, that works out well, more more expensive. Yeah, know. I've never given birds no, injections. No, no, well, and, and, and I and used a crop needle once when yeah. I had a, and a, and, a, and I did, but I killed the parrot, so I'd have never and again would I try and use it. Yeah. I, I was very amateurish. Yeah, yeah. And I was. Course, uh, uh, Doing crop needling is um, incredibly um, well. It's it's you need to practice on dead birds first of all, then yeah, live birds. Yeah. You practice on the simple ones, and it's a skill once learnt that is hugely beneficial. But um, it takes a bit of learning. Yeah. So anyway, uh, the so yeah. So the options are um, one whether you want any of these tests done, whether you want me to just to start treating her on the basis of what I've seen and said so far. Um, Ideally, I like to have scientific backing behind me, but I also understand the cost factor. And uh, we'll be on a pension myself, and she, yeah. my daughter, can't pay for this. Right. Well, we are limited to what we can afford. I mean, right. uh, as far well, that's as that's fair enough. Well, I mean, uh, if we said, no, um, oh, I don't know. You tell me a cost to to um, to get her right. Would you? Well, think? I can't give you a cost to get her right. I can do. I can give you a cost to a progressive cost, and give you an idea of where you, where I think you're going. <coughs> so, your cheapest your cheapest ways of helping her uh, um, are likely to initially cost you around about the two hundred dollars, mm -hmm. right? But the, that's not the end of the story because you haven't gone through surgery, you haven't done any of those sorts no. of things, right? No. no. So, um, um, and you may decide not to put her through surgery if it's if the lump is not. Distressing her, right? Well, and look, let, it, let you think with. that's the that, that that's the lump that causing the the drop wing and the and the no, sort of no, I think the respiratory disease is causing the drop oh, wing, okay. right? Okay. And, um, yep. She's got um, chronic respiratory Plus disease. That, that nostril's blocked. You said. Yep. Yep. Yeah. So, yeah, just just to give you um, consultations, ninety dollars. Um, you've got the the um, the powder. If you take the powder, mm. it's about. Um, 35 or 45, I can't remember. The paint, uh, stinky paint will be about um, uh, 28 or something like that. Um, and I would uh, suggest that she go on to some um, products to try and start boosting her immune system and, and supporting her immune system. Um, they're optional extras, but they're what I would do. And there's a range of those, and you can go over $200 or you can go under $200, depending on what you elect. But that gives you an idea mm. quickly. I'll, I'll write it down. We'll put the camera down. We'll get some paperwork done. Okay. Yeah, All right, good. and yeah. we'll go from there, and I'll just take some photographs. But yep. thank you very, very much for bringing her. Thank you very much for letting me film. Yeah, that's good. Um, and um, I think she's... Else, she's um, a lot of people can learn a lot. We'll film the nose job in a moment when she's had time to uh, to to rest, and I've got some photographs of her. So there you are. What's her name again? Sorry, Misty. Misty. There you are, Misty. You're a little film star, <laughs> and you're going to help many, many other birdies around the world through helping me educate people and show what can be done. 
Thank you.